guys, my name is John. Uh, what about you guys? Uh, what do you guys think of my hat? Is it cool? Cool? Coolish? It's a new hat. It's a new hat I'm trying out. I think it's kind of... This is the way that I wear it when I want to be really, really cool. Uh, and when I need to go really, really fast, I turn it like this. A bit more streamlined that way. Even. Uh, hey, my name is John Ellis. I come from New Zealand originally, and I've been performing comedy in Barcelona for the last three years or so. Dad bods in fashion, I think, these days. It's so coming. They're telling me it's sexy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure I believe them, but they tell I'll me see you. I've got a bit of a belly, I do. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to work on getting it down. I, uh, I leaned over my laptop the other day and I stopped Netflix. Because <laughs> it tapped like, tap the, tap the freaking mouse. A little bit about myself, guys. I come from a little country called New Zealand. Okay, uh, in the indigenous language Aotearoa, uh, which loosely translates to the land of, of the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Auckland is my city. It's actually where all the orcs live. Um, <laughs> double whammy that joke. <laughs> uh, I grew up there. I grew up there with two loving, supportive parents, which almost ruined my comedy career. Uh, my mum, my mum was super supportive. Right, she'd always be like Johnny. Johnny, shoot for the moon, shoot for the moon, and if you miss, you'll land amongst the stars. Really supportive, of my mum. Not much of a physicist. <laughs> <laughs> shoot for the moon, and the second you get outside the atmosphere, you blow it to twice your size, and at the same time as getting sunburnt to death, somehow freeze to death as well. I can no thanks, mum. <laughs> Why are you funny? <laughs> Why am I funny? I have no idea. I, I guess I think I'm funny. It's kind of an arrogant thing to, to presume that you're the one that should be telling jokes in front of everybody. I guess I always just kind of, I was quite quiet and I, I thought about stuff in a slight, hopefully a slightly different way. Yeah, kind of looking at the, I guess, the negative side of things when it all seems quite positive. Maybe. Uh, 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 Expert at seeing the glasses half empty. In like a kind of a joke way, but yeah. What style are you? I'm still figuring it out. They said, uh, I'm told it takes like seven years to figure it out, but so far I've been doing quite a lot of dark jokes reasonably well. True stories, and before I was doing a lot of kind of like self deprecating stuff, like, oh, I don't know how to be with girls and all, everything goes wrong for me all the time, you know, kind of like <laughs> Rodney Dangerfield style stuff, but. It just doesn't play with the audience very well now, I think, because I'm quite good looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it just doesn't play as, like, not to be arrogant, it just doesn't play as sort of... No, you you got, you've got to work with what you've got and what you look like. Yeah, so I think I'm going to try and move away from that as well, and hopefully still do dark stuff, but ideally kind of inter interesting social commentaries and stuff. We'll see. I mean, we'll see what happens. I'm an alcoholic, uh, and I would stop drinking now, I would. I just don't think it makes sense until I hit rock bottom. Right? Like, if I were to get better now, it's kind of a shitty story. I'm just a guy that used to pee on the ground slightly too much that started to conform to normal social behaviour. That's not... That's not great. But if I hit rock bottom, right? If I, like, get myself a family, a few kids, then start drinking heavily, lose my family, lose my wife, lose my kids, lose my house, lose my car, lose my job, start doing anything for money, start living under a bridge. And then, after all of that, if, if after all of that I somehow manage to scrape myself up out of the dust, completely recover, keep doing comedy as a sober person, <laughs> That's at least like a Netflix special, right? <laughs> Pretty sure that's how it works. So guys, if you see me in a few years sucking dick for a fiver, <laughs> it's just because I'm taking my career really, really seriously. <laughs> also, do give me the fiver. Uh, <laughs> I do want to drink. Now, these are just going to be a, a set of questions yep. that I'd like you... Well, if you answer them correctly, you don't get anything, but it's nice, isn't it? Yeah, I'll well feel good about myself. I will exactly. very competitive like that. Good, well, you just have to get these correct, all right? Go, shoot. So, uh, first question. Do you love it? Comedy. Yes. 
McDonald's? Yes. Everything. Are you correct? Yes. Should we add a little rule? Okay. okay. Every answer you get correct, you can take off a piece of clothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, <laughs> let's play it, it sounds fun. Do you know what I have? This is the problem. Even if I get down to underwear, my, this particular pair of underwear's got holes in it all over the place. I'm excited to get them off. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, why are you a comedian? Is it because you like jokes? I love jokes. Correct. Everyone I get correct is I have to take quite clothing off. Is me, that? me too. You too? Yeah, ah, cool. Yeah, yeah. You're wearing less clothes than me. Oh. I, feel, I feel bad now. You just gotta sling it down there. Anyway, I'll, I'll whip the sock off. Have you got any jokes about fridges? Not that I wrote myself, but I've got a great joke about a fridge. Ooh, get it out. I, I, I thought no one was gonna get that. So there's, there's a couple of parents are sitting at the dining room table and one of their kids walks in and says, Dad, why am I called Lavender? He says, well, when you were born, uh, a piece of lavender fell on you, so we called you Lavender. Next kid walks in and says, Mum, why am I called Rose? He says, well, when you were born, a, a rose petal fell on you, so we called you Rose. It's like, okay, so she goes away, she's happy. And then from, like, this dark corner, you hear the sound, it goes, <laughs> and say, shut up, fridge. <laughs> ah, that was good. Is that, did I get that right? Is that, is that you right? did get that wrong. Bloody hell, I forgot the game. There we are. I just want to take my clothes off. I'm insisting on it. Working out. I've been trying to get my bare belly down. <laughs> um, this question, I love this one. Go. You're doing a show tonight for craft and all that. Downstairs and all that. Mm -hmm. You're going to have an audience and all that. Mm -hmm. If you could change said audience and all that for an animal of your choice. Oh, I love monkeys. I love monkeys so much. I think monkeys are the funniest animal. I think monkeys are like humans without anything to worry about, right? Humans, we're very, very sad and miserable all the time because we've got all these issues. Monkeys are just like humans, except they just, they're just chilling. They're just swimming, swimming from, from trees. You're a monkey fan as well? You want to see my monkey? Well, we're showing off monkeys. Oh, man. <laughs> Let's do it. This Lovely. Is, this is Billy. He's in Cornwall. I, uh, <laughs> I sponsor him. Are oh, you sponsor a monkey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Well, That's uh, awesome. I didn't realise you could do that. No, I, I, I'm doing a master class in primatology at the minute. Me and time as oh, well. Oh, you're kidding me. Big time. You got to go to Fundacion Mona. Have you ever been to Fundacion Mona? Fundacion Mona. No, it's, I've never been. Is it around here? It's in Girona. Oh. It's, don't, it, it's, it's all these chimpanzees. Fourteen chimpanzees, four macaques. Sick. Uh, two squirrel monkeys, but they're all. They used to be on McDonald's adverts and all that. They used to pull out all their hair and stuff. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly the reason why I love going up there. Because when you're sad and all that, you go up there and you go, oh, all right, yeah, they are. They're like basic. So monkey chat, monkey chat, correct. Ready to roll. Pa -pa. Uh, oh, cool. Well, Second you, I'm being very conservative Second in my. Oh, you do have socks on. I don't yeah. think you were wearing socks before, but those fucking sneaky ass <laughs> socks. Would you like to know my answer to the last question? Please, that animal in the audience. What would it be if you replaced the whole audience with animals? One centipede. <laughs> <laughs> Those are clapping, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I see, I gotcha. <laughs> you mic them up. <laughs>
Well, I guess, but they say comedy is sort of a surprise, right? It's, it's really like, that's what it is. It's kind of misdirection and you think, people think you're going one day and then, then you fuck their grandma up the ass, you know? It's sort of like, <laughs> it's a Celestian joke, by the way. Um, so food, it would have to look like something, right? It would have to be like a burger that tastes like a cake. I think. Do you know what I mean? Like something like that. Element of surprise. Element of surprise. Sneaky That's, cake. I would try and add surprise elements into my into my cuisine. You've got the burger in front of you. Yeah, I gotcha. And I'm and I'm so surprised by how the burger tastes that it's hilarious. That it's just the funniest thing. All for you, man. <clears throat> All for you. What a lovely little burger you've got on that table in front of you. That Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's got a lot of it. plate as well. It's quite good. Cool. Bloody hell. What's, what's that? <laughs> it's, it's not even a burger. What is it? It's a, it's a cake. What are you on about? It's, it's got jam inside. Well, that's mad. <laughs> we thought that was ketchup. <laughs> One last thing. You, you were correct in most of those. Okay. Get yourself off. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the ladies. I am still single. You can see the monkey. Ow! See the monkey falling out. Cool. Is then. That's it. Oh, cheers. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Well, if you bloody well enjoyed that, you'll bloody well enjoy the next video. So go ahead and watch it. Oh, when is it? Subscribe to it. Like the video. Share it with your mates. Talk about it. Comment below. Enjoy.